מפי עוללים ויונקים. ייסדת עוז. A few months ago, my mom got a call inviting her to her 50th high school reunion. So to give you a little bit of background, my mom attended a huge public high school in Queens, New York um, in the 1950s and early 60s. Um, and um, her class, a large percentage of her classmates were Jewish, but they were the kind of Jews who were sort of, um, more than being Jewish, what was really, really important to them was succeeding as Americans, you know, to be successful Americans, to live the American dream. And so when my mom got the call, the call inviting her to the reunion, um, she was a little bit, she was a bit reluctant to even attend because the call sounded something like this. The caller, the, the woman calling said, said, oh, hi, Gladys, it's so wonderful to hear your voice after all these years, you know, 50 years, I haven't heard from you at all. And, you know, I really, really hope that you'll be attending our 50th reunion because, you know, it's going to be amazing. You know, it's, you know where it's going to be? Well, remember Sid Finkelstein who was in our class? Well, Sid, you know, today, like, he owns Wall Street. He's like a billionaire, and he has, like, this mansion in Long Island, and, you know, the dance after the reunion is going to be there. you got to come. you got to come. And you know who else is going to be there? Remember Florence Cohen? Remember she was, like, a cheerleader? So... She married really, really well. Her husband's like plastic surgeon to the stars. You know, like Michael Jackson's nose? That, that was Florence Cohen's husband. Got it? Really, really, she really married well. You, you gotta come. She's gonna be there. Everyone's gonna be there. Everyone's gonna be there. You gotta come. You and your husband gotta come. So my mom, after she put down, after she, you know, put down the phone, uh, she told me she was really hesitant to attend. You know, she didn't have the best experience of high school. And uh, she, she really wasn't looking for attending, but she did anyway. She felt obligated, and so um, she and my dad, they traveled up to Queens from Baltimore, where they live, um, and they attended the reunion. And the truth is, in the end, my mom, they went, like, last week, and the end, they had, like, a really, really nice time. Um, but, you know, afterwards, I was thinking about it, and I was, and I was thinking, you know, I was sort of imagining what the phone call what the phone call inviting people to the reunion would have sounded like if somebody, if someone else had been making the phone calls. And I was imagining what the phone call would have sounded like if Hashem, if God himself had been making the phone calls. And I imagined that it would have sounded something like this. Oh, hi, Sid Finkelstein, how are you doing? Haven't heard from you for all these years, you know, haven't heard from you for many, many years. How are you doing? It's good to hear your voice. See, now, I want to tell you that, you know, we're having the 50th high, we're having, we're having your 50th high school reunion, and I really, really hope that you'll be able to attend. Um, and you know who's going to be there? You know who's going to be there? you got, you got to be there just, just to see her. It's going to be Gladys Eric Friedman. Uh, you don't remember? But Gladys Eric Friedman's my mom. <laughs> Gladys Eric Friedman. Remember, she's a really, really smart girl. Remember, she, like, was, she was, like, the only girl in, like, the chemistry class with, like, all the boys. Really, really smart girl. Maybe you remember her? So she, maybe you know, she went afterwards to medical school. And after that, she became a pediatrician. And after that, she became, she changed, she became a psychiatrist. And Gladys Eric Friedman has treated thousands and thousands of patients throughout her career. This year, she reached retirement age, and she's keeping on going. She's so idealistic, and she's just on fire with helping the world and healing people. And she has helped so many, so many people in the world. She's just done a tremendous amount of good. And really, you know, she's, you really, you really, really should come just, 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 just to see her, just to see this woman who's done so much good in the world. But even more than that, you know something about Gladys Eric Friedman? Is that when all of you guys in the class, when you were working really, really hard at being successful Americans, Gladys Friedman also cared about being successful, about being a successful American. But just as much, she cared about being a Jew. And she cared about being a good Jew. And she cared about being Jewish. And she managed to raise three children who cared about being Jewish. And her children, in turn, married Jews. And today, you know, Sid, let me ask you, I don't remember, how many Jewish grandchildren do you have? 
Zero? Oh, okay. Zero grand. Zero Jewish grandchildren. And you remember Florence Cohen? You know, remember like, you know, his husband's like Michael Jackson's nose? Like, how many Jewish grandchildren does she have? Zero? That, that's what I thought. Hey. Gladys Eric Friedman today has more Jewish grandchildren than any other member of the graduating class. She has six Jewish grandchildren. She has six Jewish grandchildren, and not the kind of Jew Jewish grandchildren who are being raised like with Christmas trees. Jewish grandchildren who are being raised as Jews, who just like she cared about doing, being Jewish and she raised her children to care about being Jewish, she has six Jewish grandchildren who care about being Jewish and will raise their children to, and will raise their children in turn to care about being Jewish. So I want to tell you something, Sid. You know, in, in my book, Gladys Eric Friedman, she's the head of the class. She's the star of the class. She's the one that everyone should come to the reunion and say, you know who was at the reunion? Gladys Eric Friedman. So I want to bless all of us. You know, I think so often, you know, we're Jewish moms and we care about being Jewish moms and we're raising kids who care about being Jewish. And I think that so often, you know, we take it for granted. We take it for granted, like, what we're doing. You know, let's say, like, there's a day, you know, we didn't clean the house as, as well as we would have liked to. We didn't make meals like we would have liked to. We didn't uh, accomplish the things that we would have liked to. We weren't even the kind of moms that we would have liked to be. But if you look at just basic what we're doing, what we're doing, what we're accomplishing just by caring about being Jewish and raising children who care about being Jewish. Think like in God's eyes, in God's eyes, we are the stars. We're the stars of the human race. So I want to bless all of you to keep that in mind. Bless everyone with an amazing, amazing week. Me be all alive, Sadetan